The P16 Rescue tool is designed to change from spreading to cutting in seconds using interchangeable tool attachments such as the S1601 spreader arms, the C1601 curved cutter, and the CS1602 power blade. These attachments are safely secured to the Rescue Tool Powerhead lugs through the use of special grade steel pins. Use only PowerHawk authorized attachments with the PowerHawk Rescue System. Tool attachments have left and right designations. The left side attachments are thicker in the mounting area and cannot be installed incorrectly. The attachment pins are also left and right side specific. The left pins are longer and have a larger diameter than the right pins. The right pin set has a red ribbon attached to it. So remember, right equals red. Loosen the clutch and rotate the power head as necessary for better accessibility to the pins. Be sure to retighten the clutch prior to operation. Attachment pins must be completely inserted. Check by lightly pulling up on the pins to ensure the ball detents are below the bottom lugs on the power head. Note that there are decals indicating left and right sides of the spreader arm set. Align the holes in the arms to those in the power head. Insert the correct attachment pins. If the holes do not line up, you may need to operate the trigger switch of the P16 in the direction that will allow hole alignment. Use your thumb over the top of the pin to facilitate insertion. Install the left side of the cutters first, aligning the holes and using the long pins. Align the hole in the cutter link with the front right hole in the power head lug and insert the pin. If the holes do not line up, operate the trigger switch of the rescue tool in the direction that will move the hole in the power head lug toward the hole in the cutter link. Install the tethered cylinder stop in the right rear of the power head lug using the remaining pin. Failure to install the cylinder stop could result in the cutter link hitting the power head, causing damage to the rescue tool. Loosen the clutch and rotate the power head as necessary for better accessibility to the pins. Be sure to retighten the clutch prior to operation. Relieve the tool load prior to removing tool attachments. Spreader arms should be at least slightly open. Failure to relieve the load will prevent removal of the attachment pins. Use the coated steel cable between the pins as an aid when pulling up the pins. Pins should remove easily. If not, verify that the tool load is relieved. After removing the steel pins, Drape them over the side handles for easy access. All PowerHawk cutter blades are held together with a special steel bolt and nut that is tightened with over 150 foot-pounds of torque. As the cutter is operated to open or close, there exists a natural load on the pins as the blades push through the friction induced by the high torque of the bolt. To relieve this load, simply operate the tool in one direction by depressing the trigger switch, then jog the switch in the opposite direction. This will relieve the load and free the attachment pins for removal. Use only attachment pins supplied by PowerHawk Technologies. This video has been created as a supplement to the PowerHawk P16 Rescue System and Power Pusher Owner Operation and Maintenance Manuals.